All right, y'all. Here we are. We're actually kind of doing two videos at once right now. We're actually about to go throw the coilovers on before I get out there and get the grooving and moving. We got our DCC deletes, as the video states. I actually emailed the Asian Garage on a whim, and uh, they actually got some pretty sweet stickers. Check that out. That's dope. Very nice. One of those were definitely going in the en engine bay. Um, but I reached out to them. I was wondering, you know, I just hit them on a whim. I was like, you know what? I should reach out to these guys. Let's see if we can work out something. So they actually got a 10% off code, I think through March. 10% off. Use my code BR32YCE. Same as my Instagram to save 10% on these bad boys right here. And actually, through the holiday deal, which is pretty freaking sweet, we get a nice little 10 mil keychain ratcheting little guy. How cool is that? Oh, it's got a nice. If we can get it in the right light here, there you go. TAG, the Asian Garage. That's a nice little unit right there. I mean, who can argue with the free 10 mil? Like, I'll actually probably use this on the cold over install to get the uh, uh, the strut nuts off. I believe they are a 10, and this will be perfect little guy to use that. So we will we will do that. Honestly, I'm gonna clip that right to my belt so I don't lose it. Anyway, so we went with the Asian Garage. I remember hearing about these guys a while back. Um, this is a better priced option for the same exact functionality as the iSweep or KW DCC deletes. I actually had, I had iSweep on my Mark 7. Wow, this is really nice. Like really, really nice. Wow, and the brackets are built in to, so like my, my iSweep ones, that you had your DCC delete and you had a bracket that you had to like hold and then zip tie. And then these, you just got your little clamps that'll go right through and you're good to go. Wow. I really, let's get a little close up on these. Come on, baby. Okay, here we go. You can just get up in on the quality here. These are some nice units. And they have a one year warranty, I believe, as long as they're installed properly. This is very nice. Very, very nice. And I believe these are like 260 compared to iSweep and KW. They're like $500. So this is literally half the price. And I believe they're made here in the USA. Look at that. Nice little note. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I'm glad I picked that up and read it. That's really cool. Let's see what the box says. There you go. Faulty level sensors can damage kit and will avoid warranty. That's interesting. They got installation on their YouTube. They got, these boxes are dope. Dude. Very, very nice. Oh, let me show you that. Got these stickers. Can you see? Hard to show in the reflection there. This one's definitely going in the engine bay. Very nice. I am so glad I reached out to these guys. These are going to look sick in there. So I was just going through uh, the readings here on these. These have a one year warranty and you can buy an extended warranty and still be cheaper than the, the KW or iSweep DCC leads. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Um, these are also, this is aluminum, black anodized aluminum. So they're not going to corrode and they're waterproof. Obviously you want these to be waterproof because there's electronics in there. So that's huge. I really, really like how they are built in and then use these over zip ties. The zip ties were ugly. Every time you take the wheels off, you see these ugly, ugly zip ties. So this will go very nice. I like the attention to detail here. They look great and uh, I'm stoked. So you guys use that code. If you guys need DCC deletes, I will let you guys know um, later in this video how they install, how they look, and uh, obviously if any lights come up. So, um, Oh, okay, so they're different. There's two, I guess the fronts are different than the rears. Let's hope, let's hope this all goes right in. I'm excited. Oh, and one more thing before you go and put these cold overs on. If one of these do go bad and you're out of warranty, you can buy them individually. You don't have to buy a whole set. So 
That's freaking awesome to know. Let's hope we don't ever have to do that. All right, guys, we're back. Fortunately, but unfortunately. So go to put these in, and they were the wrong ones. They are for the uh, the A3 S3 RS3. Boys! And today, just a couple days later, we, we got these, even over the holiday weekend, they got here quick. But today's Tuesday, and I told them about it Friday, and I haven't really driven the car till today. Um, which, by the way, cool over spiel. Phenomenal. But we're going to go toss these on once she goes to bed. But he said I could keep these and give these away. So I guess the first person in the comments with an 8V A3 S3 or RS3, they're yours. Just let me know. Um, drop your Instagram down below and I'll message you and we'll get these sent out to you. Um, pretty freaking cool of him. Uh, I was ready to get them shipped back and everything. Like I obviously boxed them all, all up, had them ready to go. And uh, just my daughter put some of those bands in the little spot. So uh, yeah, shout out to Mark. Shout out to the Asian Garage for, uh, I guess it's our first true giveaway on the channel. Plus we got 10% off to anybody that does want to get a set, and uh, yeah, don't forget they got a great warranty. You can order extended warranty. They're sealed from the weather. It's one piece design. I can't wait to toss them on tonight. I'm super excited. Again, thanks Mark. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you or a buddy needs a set of DCC deletes. All right, pretty self-explanatory, but if you don't realize it, these you undo them completely. I think it's a, what, a six mil? Seven mil. And you're gonna stick it through the first one. And then the second one here, it's not, it's gonna wanna miss it. So what I do, I kinda hold it right there. Take the end of your wrench and just kinda bend it down a little bit and so you can Push it on through. Try and even it up. Looks about even. All right, now we'll toss them on. All right, guys, and it's pretty simple. We're just gonna wrap it around. We're gonna tuck this guy back in. It's kind of weird to do with gloves to try and feel it. Try and get that guy back in there. Start the threads. Started. This goes a lot faster if I had all my tools are at work, so I get to use hand tools. Normally I would just use my electric ratchet and not keep falling off. It'd be done and fine now. But it's already tight, so we don't want it that low. At least I don't. I'm gonna bring them up somewhere around there. Plug them in. That's backwards. No, it isn't. Okay. So I'm going to turn it a little bit more. Okay. I don't want it too light or too loose. You might redo that, but I'll just tighten this down real nice. And then the most important step is make sure you, it's not going nowhere. Well, we decided to just stick it back here since the wheel could maybe potentially somehow maybe touch it. We'll tuck it in the back. And that way, water coming up this way and stuff isn't going to get near it. It's not loose, but not tight. It ain't going to go nowhere. To the front. All right, guys. I think I'm going to Settle this guy right in the front. And this gives it, so I, here we'll click it. Click. And it sits right back there, perfect. We're not yanking on the wires or nothing, and they're all out of the way. And this will be out of the way, tucked real low. I think I like that there. So same thing, we'll get the threads started. Sometimes they don't like to start. Oops. There she 
goes. Turn it to where we want it. There we go. It's not tucking on anything. Let me raise it up a little bit. There we go. That's it. Front and backs. Still plenty of wires aren't tight on anything. Good. And they're not going to flop around. I like it. Again, shout out to uh, the Asian Garage. I can't believe we actually got a set of these to give away. This is the first time we've had a company do that. Now, it wasn't on purpose. Um, kind of a happy mistake, if you will. But uh, I won't argue with it. This is uh, it's pretty dope. And I'm very excited to go in the morning and be able to turn off traction control again. That would be nice. <laughs> really need an alignment before I can get out there and try and bust down to the 10s again. It's been like super rainy today and cold and stuff anyway, but you guys will see that soon. I promise that. Again, shout out to the Asian Garage. Use code BR32YCE for 10% off. And uh, I guess we'll, we'll pick a winner of uh, someone with an 8V that needs these, so. I'll be out in the comments looking for those. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Happy New Year, fellas. And I'll uh, catch you on the flip-flop.